If you have ever felt so stressed out in business and life that you were practically vibrating with overstimulation, like you can't shut your mind off, you're irritable, you're anxious, you're just craving a sense of peace and quiet, this video is for you. I'm gonna introduce you to a blend of oils called Peace that is gonna help you to shut it down, let it go, and feel restful again. By the way, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications because I put out a new weekly video on essential oils and emotions that you are not going to want to miss. What's up, boss lady? I'm Tara Wagner, your breakthrough coach, helping you to get it done, but feel great doing it. And in this video, we're going to dive into a blend of essential oils from doTERRA called Peace. Increase the peace. I want to show you all about how to use it, especially for things like that anxious sort of stress. We're going to talk about best practices, precautions, and be sure to stick around to the very end because I'm going to introduce you to some affirmations that you can use with this oil, as well as some recipes and diffuser blends that you can try with it. If you are brand new to emotional aromatherapy, I encourage you to check out the video I have called Essential Oils and Emotions. It actually is going to teach you how these oils interact with your brain, your limbic system to change the way you think, feel, and thus act. And you can find the link for that up above as well as down below. So let's start off with a little bit about Peace. This is a blend of vetiver, lavender, alang alang, frankincense, clary sage, marjoram, labdanum, and spearmint. So you have roots, you have florals, you have trees, all these calming, grounding oils, and then you throw a mint in there, which is just really, really unique. Spearmint's actually the oil of confident speech, so I can kind of see how that can be helpful, and I'm going to point out some ways that that's going to be helpful in just a minute. But I first just want to say not everybody smells the spearmint in this, so when I smell this, I just smell vetiver. Like, yeah, just pretty much all vetiver and a little bit of lavender. Other people will pick up, immediately pick up spearmint or they'll pick up frankincense. And this is because our brains are all feeling and interacting with these oils in a very different way. And so you're going to pick up things based on your emotional state, based on your mental state. It's very fascinating. There's a lot of theories on why that is, but what I recommend is never buy an oil based on smell, always buy it based on benefits. So we're going to talk about those benefits in this video. Before we get into that, I want to go over your options with Peace and how you would use it. So you've got two different options. You can do a five mil. This is an undiluted. This means that you can put it in your diffuser or you can dilute it to your own preference and put it in your own roller bottle. The other option is to go with convenient, ready-made, don't have to think about it. This is the piece touch. Anything from doTERRA that says a touch after the name of it means that it's pre-diluted for you and it's ready to go. You can use these aromatically or topically. They're not suitable for internal use. With aromatic use, I find this is another one of those blends that you don't need as many drops as a normal diffuser might call for. So I would start off with three or four, see how that goes. And then if you're diluting it yourself, what I would probably do is start off with about two to eight drops in a 10 mil roller. Again, these emotional blends are really, really potent. You just don't need as much as you might otherwise need. Even though this is an emotional blend, there are still a lot of physical properties to the oils in this blend. So let me go through some of those with you. For kids, this is a great oil for focus, concentration, hyperactivity. You can dilute this and put it on the bottoms of their feet, back of the neck, down the spine. This is also a great oil for sleep. So if you're having a hard time falling asleep, staying asleep, getting a deep enough sleep, this would be an oil that you could use. I would do the same thing, bottoms of the feet, back of the neck, maybe down the spine. The clary sage in this also makes it really amazing after childbirth to support the recovery process, as well as with menstrual cramps. This would be something that you would dilute and put on the lower abdomen or lower back, wherever you're feeling that discomfort. And there are some great oils in here for skin. So irritated skin, minor burns, stretch marks even. This could be something that you could add to your moisturizer, a lotion, an oil, something like that to massage into the skin and help reduce the appearance of those things or help to you know, ease any sort of irritation, things like that. You can also use this to calm the nervous system, especially if you have maybe some restlessness. A lot of people get restlessness in their legs at night before they go to sleep. So this can be a great way when you're diluting this, 
massage this into the lower back, the hips, the legs, and it's gonna help to just calm that area so that you can finally rest. And then lastly, it is amazing for things like colic or just straight up tantrums. Adults or kids, we all have them, it's okay. This is amazing though. We see so many parents do little demonstrations like videos of holding peace close to a baby and they smell it and they instantly start calming down. Really, really cool. So you can definitely use that. I would not necessarily stick the oil up the baby's nose, but you can dilute maybe a drop on a 10 mil roller bottle or diffuse and that could be helpful. Okay, but the real reason we are here, emotional uses. What are all the ways that you can use peace for various emotions to help you get your head on straight, be able to calm down, be able to handle whatever's coming your way. Let's get into those now. Like I mentioned before, peace is amazing. If your stress is leaving you very anxious or on edge, this is gonna help to calm the nervous system. Just like with kids, it's great for focus, concentration, mental clarity. So if you have a lot going on in your day, you've got a lot to tackle and you just need to be able to think straight, this is gonna be able to just calm your brain so that you can. Also along those lines, it's great for those racing thoughts or for worry, fear, insecurity, second guessing, all that stuff that's happening in your prefrontal cortex. You can actually dilute this and put it over your forehead to be able to calm that area of the brain. This also makes it amazing for meditation so that you can just sit calmly and breathe and not feel anxious while you're sitting there. It's also really good for nervous energy and this is because it just allows you to settle your nervous system, settle your emotions, your stress response in your body, your thoughts, everything all at once. So it's just going to have a very calming, grounding effect. There's also a lot of heart oils in this blend which makes it amazing for relationships in part because the properties of these oils are going to allow you to let go of your ego a little bit and that need to control so that you can just connect from the heart and not from the head. Real fast, drop me a comment below and let me know where you most see yourself needing or using peace for physical or emotional uses. But there's also a really unique use for peace that I think a lot of people miss. This oil has lavender and spearmint in it. Lavender is the oil of communication. Spearmint is the oil of confident speech. This is an amazing oil for public speakers, especially new ones who still feel those nerves, that anxiousness before they get out on stage. This is gonna help them to calm the F down, but also to be able to increase their communication skills, increase their clarity, increase their mental clarity, as well as just being able to get their message across in a clear way. So if you're a public speaker or you're getting on camera, you're getting up on you know, any stage, any arena, any sort of spotlight, give peace a try. You can use this in a lot of different ways. We've already talked about the feet, the back of the neck. You can also put this on your pulse points, which would be your wrists and behind the ears. You can put this over the heart. You can put this over your solar plexus. Really, you can use your intuition and put it wherever you dang well please. Just make sure that you are diluting it to your needs and your skin sensitivity level. So peace is really about creating more peace, but also more contentment, more stillness, more trust, more love, more calm in whatever situation that you're dealing with. I'm gonna introduce you to a couple recipes that you can use with peace, and then I'm gonna get into some affirmations that you can use with it as well. The first recipe is pretty simple. It's three cups of Epsom salt, a cup and a half of sea salt, and then 20 to 30 drops of peace. You're gonna mix this all up, and you're gonna use about a half a cup to a cup in your bathtub, depending on how big your tub is. Sometimes I just like to dump it all in, to be honest with you. This is a really great way to manage stress because the magnesium in that Epsom salt is so good for our body's stress response. That piece is gonna come in and just add an extra layer. This is gonna be a great way to handle the end of a long day, the end of a long week. When you are totally frazzled, you need to decompress. Give this one a try. This next one is a diffuser blend, but you could also turn it into a roller bottle. It's called Please Forgive Me, and you're gonna to wanna to use this when you are in conflict with another person. You're gonna do four drops of peace and four drops of forgive in the diffuser. This is gonna help you to soften your heart, to create that communication, but to also allow you to release some of the anger, the resentment, the frustrations that might be happening between you. And if you're brand new to forgive and you've never heard of this blend, 
check out the video. I will link it up above as well as down below. It'll explain a little bit more about that oil and how you can use it. This next diffuser blend is going to be really great to diffuse at night to help you to kind of defrag from your crazy day. It's going to be great to allow you to calm your body, but also open up your heart. So if your anxious stress leaves you feeling really irritable and cranky towards other people and just creating a lot of conflict, this might be the diffuser recipe for you. In a diffuser, you want to add five to seven drops of peace and one to three drops of geranium. Geranium is the oil of love and trust. So that peace is going to help you to calm down. That geranium is just going to help you to connect with the people around you that maybe your stress has been separating you from. Any of these recipes would also make a really great massage. So add a couple of drops, play with the ratios, and pass that along to your massage therapist. Wow, that's going to be amazing. Now let's talk about affirmations that you can use with peace. Again, make sure that you're customizing these. It is more important that you're saying something that resonates with you than you're saying the exact right words. But here are some ideas to get you started. I take a deep breath and return to peace. Peace is always available to me. I now release my anger and find resolution in its place. My body is responding to my deep breathing and my gentle thoughts. I release tension now. I am calm and self-assured in new situations. Why is it so easy to find peace amidst the chaos? Anger and drama have no power over me. I am peaceful and calm instead. It's okay to not feel good, and when I'm ready, it's okay to feel better. Peace and equanimity are my natural states of being. I release all other habits now. I allow my emotions to flow in and back out, knowing that they will only stay if I invite them to. It's all good. In the big picture, all is well in my world. Now that we've talked about peace and how to use it for that anxious stress, for your racing thoughts, even for some fears, you might be wondering what other oils are good to have on hand. Like, where do you start with so many options available to you? This is why I created my free guide. It's called Sniff Sniff Affirm, and it actually goes through the top 10 emotional essential oils that I recommend that every boss lady have on hand all the time because they cover the things that you are the most likely to need. Peace is actually mentioned in those top tens and I include some additional affirmations to use with it as well as affirmations to use with every one of the other oils I teach in there as well. Again, it's called Sniff Sniff Affirm. It's 100% free and you can download it at the link above as well as down in the description. Now I wanna bring you into this conversation. There is an amazing community out there and I know that there are so many more uses for peace. So leave your comment below and let me know how you use this oil or if you haven't tried it yet, let me know how you'd like to try it. Then make sure that you download your free Sniff Sniff Affirm guide. You don't wanna miss that one. And if you found this video helpful, will you give it a thumbs up for me? Share it with your oily groups or with any friends that you think would benefit from this knowledge. And then make sure that you subscribe so that you get notification of next week's video on emotions and essential oils. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace, 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 peace. Peace, increase it. Increase the peace. I have no sense of humor. That's enough of that.